So, so maximizing everything we can out of the log is super important. We, once it lands here, uh, we have a use for every bit of the, the wood product that lands at this site. From the minute a log arrives at the Hampton Lumber Mill in Warrington, Oregon, plans are underway to use every inch of that timber. So we produce dimension lumber. It's all kiln dried. So two by four up to two by 12. Uh, eight foot lengths up to 20 foot lengths. When Hampton Lumber bought the Warrington Mill in 2010, it took a year to retool, modernize, and create what is considered a state-of-the-art lumber mill. So I'm Dave Kuhnert, procurement manager for Hampton Lumber. Dave Kuhnert says a lot of people don't know how efficient new lumber mills are these days. You know, I think in years past we've been viewed as, uh, you know, lawless hooligans that are just out there um, you know, taking timber off the landscape and not caring about the environment. With timber being so scarce, taking care of the environment and getting the most out of each log is the name of the game. So you, you've got um, scanners that scan the, the shape and the size of the log, and then the optimizer fits in as many pieces as it can for recovery purposes. In other words, the computer squeezes every inch out of that log. Nothing is wasted. The primary thing we're going after is dimensional lumber. Uh, and then, you know, we make chips and the chips go to, um, you know, one of the areas they go to is Wana, the, the paper mill right down the, the road. Uh, we make sawdust, shavings, and hog fuel. The, the hog fuel and the shavings we burn in our boiler to produce steam for our dry kilns and then the sawdust is used for pellet or particle board uh, manufacturing. So we, we utilize everything out of that log. But there's more. Even the waste isn't wasted. It's sold to a sorter who separates out the rock, organic debris, and hog fuel. The hog fuel is used to fire up the kiln, the rock sold, and the organic material used to make planting soil. So this takes care of the, any ash that's gonna come out of this plant that gets rid of it. Correct. Yeah, it captures all the ash, puts it in these black containers over here, and then there are uh, markets that benefit from the use of that ash. Absolutely, we care. We live here. Every drop of water that comes from this plant, even the steam, is monitored with strict standards. You know, we operate under some of the most stringent state and federal laws in the world between Oregon and Washington. So we're a part of this community. Uh, we don't want contaminated soil or contaminated water just like anybody else, because um, we live here. Yeah, I, I don't think that they understand that, uh, you know, these people that operate and make a living in these woods um, care more about that landscape and those communities than a lot of the uh, communities outside are making decisions on their behalf for you know, there's folks that don't understand what we do or why we're doing what we do, and, and they, they try to put in regulations to keep us from being able to harvest logs. I, I think a lot of these folks do. They feel like they're being squelched out. Forest management is a big issue for the Northwest, but a lot of people don't seem to understand the management piece of that puzzle. So if, if we don't manage these forests, then they succumb to uh, wildfire, windstorms, insect disease infestations. And so, uh, you know, without some assistance, then actively managed forests uh, do not remain forests. And without a healthy supply of logs, Hampton Lumber and others won't be able to provide the most sustainable carbon sequestering building material known to man. There's a lot of folks that don't have houses out there that need houses, and wood is probably the, the best choice to build those houses with. Um, but if we're not able to get the, the log supply that we need to keep the mill operating, um, then we're not gonna be able to provide those houses for the people that need them. People who work in wood products wonder if those making the decisions about their industry understand all the changes made over the past decades. They are concerned for their livelihoods and for their communities. Uh, you know, a lot of what people don't think about is, is the mechanic that depends on working on log trucks or logging equipment or the tire shop that regularly sells tires to these truck drivers. 
or the small uh, saw shop that's located on Main Street in town. And the, you know, these guys also spend money at the convenience stores, so that's part of the whole economic equation within these communities. The old ways of manufacturing lumber are long gone. It's a whole new industry built on sustainability, viability, but what's missing is reliability. The truth about timber is we need it. When managed properly, it's the most environmentally friendly way to provide housing materials and reduce climate change.